All right, Grand Rising, everyone. It's Shalanda or Shea Siki. And, um, yeah, so I was just sitting here for a minute, and I don't know, something told me to look again at the, uh, you know, I've been wanting to watch that Rhea, I believe, The Last Dragon, but, um, I don't know, The Lion King was on my mind, and again, through visuals and, you know, things like that, um, sometimes, like, I don't know what, because, I don't know, I guess it is that circle of life kind of energy that, um, you can learn something from any messages, you know, um, I don't know, it just <laughs> kind of helps me, uh, sift through things when it comes to that. I don't know, even like when we're talking about some type of a higher and lower frequency or conscious and subconscious and, um, yeah. Cause again, I, this message on here, it, you know, like when I come on here, I hope people get something from it. You know, it's kind of just like, um, let, going out in the mud and then laying the stuff on the surface the best way that I know how by using visuals and words, sounds, I don't know. It's just a thing. I did, like, again, a lot of times I don't even know what I'm doing, but I'm just hoping somebody can understand it. It's like to like make something that seems so difficult, really just straight to the point as to how we can, you know, access certain parts of ourselves that are connected to a higher source in order to, you know, um, interpret things around us. You know, cause then, then this whole thing about give and take, you know, uh, good, so-called good and bad and things like that was coming to mind. And so, again, I was watching this clip here because it, it had me thinking about something when it comes to, again, so-called leaders, which is why I say we are the ones we've been waiting for. And it has to do with, again, the man or the woman in the mirror, again, and their connection to that higher source or power. Whether you believe it's inside of yourself or something that may be extended out, mm -hmm. like a extended family or whatnot. Um, so, again... Um, I just wanted to play this clip really quick because I don't know, it's just that energy that's around and not to point the finger in any direction. It's, it's really about the circumstances and the situations that we're in today and, and, and helping so that we don't make, or again, for me, I guess I can't say for you, I mean, or you wouldn't want to know what I think if you, I mean. If you didn't want to know what I think, I guess you wouldn't come to the channel, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, so again, fair use. This is for, you know, uh, educational purposes, so-called. You must remember who you are. Life's not fair, is it, my little friend? While some are born to feast, others spend their lives in the dark. Begging for scraps. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. While others search for what they can take, a true king searches for what he can give. Run away, Simba. And never return. <laughs> 
So anyhow, you know, that whole instance of, you know, um, searching for things that people can take. And, you know, like we can all look, use this, you know, like I said, I mean, it's just a storyline, right? To trigger thought and to go back and forth with ideas and things in the way we, we see. Um, but it's kind of like, we, anybody can apply this to their lineage, right? <laughs> anybody can possibly be a Simba and a Nyla. It could be representing, again, um, that divine masculine feminine, whether you feel it's inside or, again, to be joined outwardly with another twin flame or match or whatnot, celestial, whatever, twin, okay. And I come here as a student because, again, we're all somewhat learning together. And um, so we're just sharing here. That's what we're seeing and sharing on this channel. But it's just a funny thing about, like, the whole energy that and vibe that I feel that's going on right now. When it comes to lineage, when it comes to our people, when it comes to this land, when it comes to heraldry and... Uh, uh, inheritance and things like that. I mean, there's things that are going on on another dimension. And, you know, I just mm -hmm. hope that the people would be prepared, whether you are into the whole genealogy thing or, again, land back or whatever you might be into. Um, you know, I'm just someone that takes heed my own self and not to the fact where I'm afraid to do anything. Hold on. Okay, I just had to find some image to put there that that uh, split screen was bothering me. So, um, I mean, since we're dealing with a lioness and a lion, you know, okay. Um, but, Yeah, so again, it's a journey. I can't remember where I was at. <laughs> um, and I was just think it just made me think, like, in the past, because y'all know that's where I live. <laughs> you know, past, present, and seeing somewhat into the future. So it's like, um, when it comes to history, uh, education, religion, and all these things. So it started making me think about how, like, you know, there's a lot of people that are willing to give, but most people are willing to give in order to get. So, um, again, being so, I guess it can be somewhat uh, blissful when it comes to this spiritual realm and this energy, right? Because Again, some of us, and we've all been on our, all, our own walks, and hopefully we're going in the same direction, right? But for the betterment, you know, of us all, right? But again, running into those instances where you realize that there is a fight or flight. type of remedy uh, that's going on. I don't know, like, and sometimes I feel like on different dimensions, like, are people aware? You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you feel, spend too much time in the spiritual realm, realm, you can get stuck there, right? But it could be a good place to be because there is healing powers there with different energies that you're connecting with on the plane and off. But again, there's nothing like a good story. <laughs> and then uh, to look over a story and also be able to, you know, go a little bit deeper um, with being, some of us being seers and readers and stuff like that. But it, it kind of worried me because like I said, the whole thing that's going on. And again, I don't think that we should be, um, be naive everything that we uh, see on our television, right? 
Because a lot of times it's telling truth. It's just, can we see it? Are we interpreting it properly? <laughs> but again, I know people can say like fear mongering or a Debbie Downer or whatever things like this. But, you know, that's I, all I know is that I've seen throughout this story or we have been told throughout this story that it repeats itself in a sense. So my thing is any kind of group, you know, like it just seems like everything that we're involved in from being a child is to take, to, ed to educate is to take and remove something from you. Even when it comes to religion, it removes something that is natural and organic to you spiritually that that something that genius or that uh that you were born with you know to get into relationships and 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 love people or companionships and love people it takes you know and when you're a life giver or someone that is a giver you can feel like yes you're going through life and again you know, I didn't even notice until the divine came in how much of a one-sided giver I was. But then on the other side, looking at it where, again, uh, uh, a taker as well, right? And sometimes it takes for it to be happening to you on those different levels for you to see and appreciate again your spirituality and again your familial ties <laughs> and relationships that you formed you know here but I sometimes wonder because again does it, we're not even going to talk about race in a sense because this could be any kind of group or any kind of organization or any type, type of anything that you're giving to. Financially, we give to brands, big brands and things like this, names. So it's so good to see so many people building their own nowadays. And then supporting each other while that's going on. But that whole thing about, you know, some that beg for scraps and then some that are seeking to devour, you know, it made me think about the scripture when it talks about uh, Satan will be seeking to see what he can devour, you know, and then it's those that want to take, only take and take damn near all, right? And again, they these individuals will just do it because I guess they can or because other individuals aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, which doesn't make it right. It's just when, when wolf and sheep clothing comes into an area and they offer something and then again, you feel this thing there and then you realize that maybe you know why now those individuals don't want nothing to do with you. You see, and it's really not nothing to do with you. It may have something to do with them. You know, in their ways. And so it makes you question. It's not even about the individual. It's the, about the energy and the actions. The works. Or individuals, right? And we hear about, like, uh, Garvey and the, you know, uh, and these are more about the works. I'm, I'm not mentioning anything about the man. We're questioning the works. And um, like uh, was collecting these things to do whatever he was going to do with the ships, collecting funds or whatever. And so we see these trends that happen throughout the test of time. And this still leads to some kind of demise you know, and I would hope to think that that's not what we're going towards this time. But 
I'm afraid that again, because people do play on emotions and play on, you know, um, the mental of those that may not um, remember or know. My thing is just to, again, say that, yeah, things are changing. But again, there are stumbling blocks and they are disguised as some type of uh, safety net. And so again, what I look at is like trying to figure out what to give the people. And I think like, damn, you know, am I somebody that's neglectful to my people? Because people see you, if you live in a certain area and things like this, or you don't talk like, or you don't do these and things, then they will kind of like write you off if, if you didn't go through those same struggles that we went through in our, what do they call it, inner cities, right? So-called ghettos in these particular areas. Everybody's got to talk about how their hood was the most, you know, feared and fierce place, you know, in order to prove that it's tough cop, tough guy stuff, right? And I think some of the toughest people or portals in the world are those that are gifted and use those gifts in a way to help heal and to show others the way. But someone may think something else, and that's fine. But this, this is this channel. <laughs> so I had to think about why am, am I not like uh, so eager to build and things like that. And I look at like how I keep my circle kind of small, but and still, it's like okay, <laughs> you know. At this point in time, it's like, who do you love? Who can you trust? Fuck love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who can you trust? You know what I'm saying? Who really got you, right? And seemingly, it might seem like no one does, but again, you know, you know, it's all good. Just, my thing is, be careful what you give. Even when it comes to energy, even, even when we're not doing, I do a lot of like sitting alone and meditating and thinking and stuff like that. And I know that still, there's still a presence, right? There, there's, pre you know, like that angel and the devil on the shoulder watching over. And then there's also energy that's there to, again, take. And I think, like, uh, when it comes to, like, organizations and things like that, I know people do feel like we need those and they're necessary. And, you know, again, I don't even look at uh, tribalism the same because I think that that's still something that was brought to us by colonizers to divide the first initial uh, drafting or dividing of uh, uh, the earth as a whole. I feel like that's borders basically built into, uh, uh, it's bordering people and cutting them off just the same way that they did the land, the land. And so when we look at the soil and land and say that you are the soil and land. So again, the tribes and stuff, tribalism is something that again, at its earliest point, you know, okay, but it's still something that was causing a barrier or a division. I mean, and I think that that's again, what weakened the earth and the offspring. And so again, giving, yes, when someone is in need, okay, always, I feel like that is a thing to do. But just be careful, again, what you share and what you give. Because a lot of these organizations, you have to sign up for something, you have to give something. Most of the time it's personal information a lot of times, you see, you may not see the, just like when it comes to the god burning forces, we don't see that dark or that something that's behind the scenes. We see what they want us to see. We don't see what's behind the curtain. 
I guess until you get to a certain point on the journey, you may be able to get a peek. And just throughout the study of these stories in the biblical text and in historical overthrows and taking over and stolen thrones and things like that. You know, it, it wasn't done by the people that didn't have the know-how. It was done by the people that did, right? And it's almost like, you know, uh, leading, you know, being someone that was uh, in the forefront of this uh, movement, right? It's almost like the whole thing when it comes to King, you know, leading his people into, said he was afraid he might be leading his people into a burning building, right? And that's why for me, I, I don't know, like I said, sometimes I feel like, look, I may not even belong <laughs> because, you know, I'm not really concerned about that. I'm just concerned about, a me you know, delivering a message to help, you know, those who may not be able to see, see. And then we have the crime rates are really, you know, uh, expanding here. And newcomers are coming in the borders here. Okay. And then when I think about the first shall be the last, that makes me think about even just prior to Genesis or OGs, <laughs> right? Of the old world. And then the offspring or newcomers that grafted in and came in. And again, those people that came in, they were regarded, they were uh, given, uh, 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 they were prioritized in a sense, right? Because if you have a nation that is built on full reign, um, energy and colonization, then, you know, these individuals wanted to reign forever. So again, everybody's hand is still in there. We have that whole G7 thing. You know, and we have individuals that'll come in and hey, do your thing, but then they will also create campaigns to slaughter or slew their brothers, which again, these individuals could be people that are grafted into your family tree and they know who you are from the beginning. When they come through the gate, you may not know who they are. You may not know about the trust and the things like these that could be in, you see, circulation. But I'm telling you one thing, those that are professional do. Now, that doesn't mean that everybody's going to use it in a negative light. That's not what I'm here to tell you, that you can't trust anybody. Right? Just pay attention. Be very observant. Discernment in these times. We have these so-called deaths as well that supposedly have to do with this nothing. And we're talking about clearing land just came into my mind. So yes, and I was reading an article about clearing land, but what land are we talking about? Or is it low-key Holocaust for some energies, regardless if they're from this plane or not? A harvest, in a sense. I shouldn't have said that. That harvest video got me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> last time so again be careful who you're giving and that is a thing for me like I don't even really deal with it but when I was younger I'd be like I don't even deal with this information anyways when it came to the social security and things like that I just you know I just never wanted to have that stuff on me I just wanted to be free of it and just act like it does you know not to say that we can't uh, respect right 
these laws and things that are in place and that they may not help you get to the level you need to get to. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying there's always been an anti something about it for me. A sense of a purity or a holiness where I don't need your whatever it is. I need. I am that I am. And so, even in a sense of I don't need no If I, okay, yeah, I don't need no help like that from nobody that I have to beg. Or even with my children when they were younger, if I asked someone, which I rarely ever did, to watch my children, if there's any hesitancy, oh, it's cool. I don't even need to go. I, that, that's fine. Mm -mm. I don't do that. When it comes to even business and things like that, like soul, you know what I'm saying? Partners can lead to great things, <laughs> but they can, partnerships can also lead to ruin. Um, same thing with relationships and marriages and all those things. Maybe not in both aspects, but again, may just be in your spiritual aspect, maybe in your worldly realm. But the whole concept of the so-called one group <clears throat> that people tend to put the whole blame on as if we shouldn't be looking at our own selves and the way we operate and handle each other. It is true. You don't have to agree with me. If you don't want to, you can stay in your feelings. Right? But from what they say, I said what I said. They're supposedly, and even if it's not, we are living with the perception that you, we, are the ones that are doing the most of the culling of you in our people at the end of the day no matter if these people doing it those people doing it it seems to be so again certain things need to be addressed and if we don't address them and we throw them under because we don't want to feel some kind of way or we don't want to face the facts then the same thing will continue to happen when we think we're making these advancements and you're dealing with individuals that not only come in but they that's cool do your thing i stay in my lane i hope everybody else do too even if you got to veer off a little bit, hey, hopefully you grasp something, right? But people that choose to then start a campaign to defund other police. We did a breakdown on police and defunding. I think we talked about defunding in there and what it could really be symbolic for, right? So some people are getting in charge, right? We see more of so-called our people but some of these people are not you can look at the characteristics and not to say that they don't belong in those positions because they're not but just be careful at what is going on if we think that we are moving back into power as the origines of this land but the faces that you see in the in entities and energies that you see is not you that's a problem If they're calling you black steel and that's a misnomer, that's a problem. Mm. So a lot of under the guise of something else. If they're starting things with people that don't bother people and starting to try to ruin their character, you have to question these particular particular energies it could happen to you <laughs> i don't know why i thought of that <laughs> commercial i think that's what it's called or what would you do <laughs> right
And could you imagine the same way God really forces, like when you need something or you go to them for a service or something? They need everything. They need to know everything. Everything. I'm surprised they don't want to know how many you know what you got to take on the toilet today. So when you go to these individuals that help you, no matter who they are, with your genealogy and with these other things, these patents and things, be careful. You're, you're sometimes giving these individuals a lot of information about yourselves. What do, does anybody go back and really look at what the land grab was about? I mean, land grab, land patent, but basically kind of like gangsters and mobsters and then other entities that are in other positions that are the real players in the game. When it comes to making moves, were you killing each other over corners or at one point in time? You see what I'm saying? Land sharks, land grab, land whatever. It was still taking it from someone. Even in this day, it's still taking it from someone. Almost sometimes more than some people need, which is fine if that's what you're able to do. But why are you able to do it? And that's what I'm saying. Two wrongs don't make a right. And why? I'm not saying you should not. I'm not saying you should not. But that will grow into greed and then people will go off and they will start tampering with other people's things. And you may even have to leave this place in order for them to be able to do that. So if you're watching the crime raids that we're not really emphasizing on, if we're watching hospitalizations, that people are not really focusing on with other things that go on. We're just talking about the nothing. And now we're talking about the how the nothing affects your children and how some people may not be fit. There's a lot of gifted people around here. When you look back in the 1800s and stuff like that, and you see the insane asylums and everything that were popping up, there's a lot of development going on with these types of things. So we're not saying anything but just paying attention. So again, the collapse has already happened. So again, the rebuilding has already happened. I'm thinking two years, we're two years behind or something. Um, so again, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we're not seeing. And there's a lot of people being placed in the power and there's a lot of people uh, um, you know, that are still working to get to a potential, you know, I'm talking about when it comes to, um, yeah, I guess on both levels, I guess on both levels, spiritual and in this worldly realm, but things are being set now and people are being moved into positions of power. And we just, I'm, it's not against anything personal with anybody that has anything to do with the things. We already did the video on the patents and how they were handed out, who they were handed out to and what was going on while the handing out was going on. And they were here to help clear the land. So if we're dealing with that again right now, what would the people that would, but again, we can also be moving into a utopia. We could also be moving into a time where, oh, all of that is done. Don't even think about that past anymore. Don't read any more books, any of that. This is book burning uh, 2021 or I was about to say 2.0. <laughs> they don't even have to have you burn the book. Did they even have you burn at that time? No, they kept the motherfuckers. Just like they logging your information now. That's what it's talking about with that. 
<clears throat> they got people that come by and study and pretend to be you. So again, the whole thing is being designed right before our eyes. And the real essence will be lost or sacrificed. And that's when it comes to any of us that feel like we've been targeted or people that have um, come to take. That can initially end in your life physically or even spiritually or even when it comes to these legalities in this land. Cutting off from being a nation, those things are going on now. Inside job. I know we've heard that term before. Around 9-11. And it's always pointing, coming in, taking something and blaming another somewhat culture of people. When the blood is on others' hands. <laughs> And it's been on new on the news lately about a lot of these individuals that are getting into power that may look like you. And they're letting cold-blooded murderers off by just not showing up and letting them go free. And so it makes you wonder, what? Because we all are some part of some lineage, some royal heirs. Some of you just have that heart that just feel like you want to give. And then and sometimes, you know, that's that dog eat dog, I guess. Why you giving, you know, somebody else is getting. So again, why, while they were reading the Bible, somebody else was walking off with the land, right? But they needed to get that essence from the truth. See, that's that whole copycat. That's that whole, you know what I'm saying, grafting in and taking. That's that whole... Um, energy there so again you guys can tell me if it's different this time or should we just be paying attention again you can go to other channels that's going to talk to you about all other stuff but I feel like I'm dealing in the spirit right now and again and grandma didn't play when it came to children. <laughs> if that's one thing, when I talked to my dad today about my grandma, he said, she said, protect the children, protect the children. I wonder why. But there was also, again, stories, right? About entities coming in and her seeing entities and things. So again, if that's the case, and then there's some shifty things going on over here. And then again, some of us are seeing these things displayed in our children. Then again, who? I don't know why one third came up. I think it was something I was reading in the biblical text. But again, now we're talking about that last group because 70% has already been taken care of. You understand? Let me stop playing with these bracelets. You understand? And they want to make you, some of you, the problem. When you can still transfer or transmit it, even with the prick. And if that's not going to be the case, then your children should be surrounded by individuals that do have it. I wonder 
think there's been any studies on the mindset of a man after he is possibly murdered by this Moderma, I wonder if they, is that what it's called? I wonder if they've done any studies. I wonder if we can have a little bit more access to the amount of deaths from this thing here. This antidote. I just see bodies piled up. Like they did in New York. You know, they had the most, uh, I mean, they had the most uh, deaths. And they had, was holding the bodies or whatever, couldn't hold them any longer. And they took them to a mass grave on something, off some island or whatever, off of, you know, and burned them. You weren't really allowed to have a funeral at that time. So, again, who knows? A man is worth more than gold. And it started with the elderly, so being an issue with the elderly. And again, the elderly could also be talking about a certain group, again, of individuals that are of the old kingdoms and empires. Right? So, so we can be fair, this could be your particular God coming here to give you something like an antidote to, right, preserve you. Or it could be another god here to demolish or destroy you. It's up to you to choose. I just think it's fair to say that I feel both energies. I can't remember if they said your, oh no. I'm trying to figure out what term it was that said that your, um, and, uh, what was it? You know the word that they use to describe your, it wasn't enemy, Satan, adversary possibly was the word. And you notice we have ad there, right? And even when we're talking about divine, some of us are, you know, Locked up in that energy of the quarrelsome energy, the chaotic riot energy with those things. And we're not seeing it from that point. Some of us can see it from that point, but we're busy back here trying to, right? And again, not because, and sometimes I feel like this is not even because we want to sometimes. It's just a duty. And it's not even really your duty, but it's just something. It's just something that's just a thing out of just a natural I don't know. Nobody has to tell you to do it. You know, you don't need to get a tap on the back. You just need to see that one person has been helped by your love, your energy, your interest, your companionship, your something. Hey, it took me always in the divine and in, in, in commune with source um, to feel that, unfortunately. And I thought all my life I was feeling that, but it's not until that moment or a tower moment now that you realize how awkward things have been. So maybe this is a thing of that 80s baby, probably other times too, star seed so-called formed in that mother's womb energy, you see? Okay, so they, some of you know you're gonna be somebody to watch out for. So again, that's with that oppressed even if you are of that royal something, they'll try to keep your mind in that turmoil or keep your mind in a lower place, lower vibing so that you can. And then have you think that these obstacles that, again, certain energies have set up on this plane. When it de deals with man's law versus natural law and things like this. And so we, we like to say, oh, it's the church, the religious aspect that we need to come out of. But I want to say, keep on coming, keep on coming. See, we're talking about 
all of those things. When we're talking about the cast, that's how you do it. Even refraining your energy, but that can be kind of dangerous because once you start refraining your energy from even those that are supposed to be close to you that are not supportive of you anymore, or don't understand you anymore, you're going to be left alone. See how it says some spend their time in the dark? You're going to be left alone then. And so again, learning how to operate and um, initiate that or activate that with other you know, uh, dimensions or other levels or other even energies around you, looking at the whole circle of life a different way as to where are my ancestors? Where have they been all the time? They're here rooting for me. They're standing by me. They knew I was gonna be set apart. They chose me. They're lifting me. They're pushing me. They're guiding me. Those that are above and below and underneath. My soul tribe, those, It, 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 it is something that's not even always tangible because with me, it was hard for me to get over that whole thing. Even though I know that there's <laughs> going to be something at the end of the day that's tangible. Or one. I hope. Anyway. When it comes to just someone to be able to see with you to understand you on that particular level because can't nobody lie and say you don't notice you're alone but again for me I fell in love with that alone time and it's just like okay that's cool because I'm, I'll take that sacrifice to invest in trying to really listen when other people can't listen so that I can then help give that hopefully some type of information that can help assist people that maybe they they will one day think back and say this person said because it's, it's, a, it's helped me other soul siblings have helped me it might just be one or two words that they said that triggered so much or opened up many doors Right? So that's it. <laughs> I just wanted to talk about that because it's the same thing. It's the same thing. People need to know a lot of your business to help you out with some of these things, unfortunately. And so, you know, just be safe, be careful, know these people, you know, maybe get some kind of reviews or something. I'm never not telling you to not do it or not deal with anyone that does it. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. It's just not like, you know, something you should be handing. Or that's your sacred something for your, your family, family. And know and watch and see the things that are going on around you. Because it will tell the story. And realize that it's never really had anything to do with your skin color. I don't know why I always touch my hand when I say that. <laughs> it's about who you are. Or that which is within you, right? So, I think that's it. I mean, I hope this helps someone. I hope it does. Because I wonder also, where are those people when it comes to speaking on, and this is, oh, how did I was about to get off here and forget? See, I'd be going off, y'all. I'd be stepping out and then coming right back in. Where are these people when we're talking about ranting and raving? They, they ranting and raving about police brutality, but why not the things that are going on that are potentially harmful to children or even to your rights to your children um you know where's the outcry on other things that deal with really some 
uh, I don't want to say cognitive, right? But self-reflecting, right? Because a lot of people can't, a lot of these people can't even look at themselves. And I'm talking about people that go out and talk about other people. When you're not, you can't even love yourself. Because a lot of us can't even start to remove any type of layers from ourselves. We think we need some of these things that we got to live by every single day. <laughs> that don't even benefit you really. So how can you cut hair? And because someone talks some way, they're seen as one way as trying to be something that they're not. But people, again, dress themselves away. And it's not the same. And talk about people that dress, they may dress up a certain way. And talk about people that dress down. Heels versus your heels planted in the soil. They might be a little, you know, <laughs> dry and stuff. But <laughs> It's better than corns and shit all over your feet, okay? <laughs> so I'm just saying, like how, like how deep is your love is what I'm thinking. What just came to my mind? Because again, you can't have two. So some people are going to love the world in that instance or in that sense. And some people will fall back on what's natural in nature. Some people are suspended in between. Reminds me of that Michael Jackson song. I can't remember which one. Uh, ah, I can't remember the lyrics right now. <laughs> Starting something. Too high to get over, too low to get under, stuck in the middle. You're a vegetable. So that makes me think about produce, right? Which makes me think about agriculture, right? Which makes me think about even, you know, I, there's a, a soul sibling that I only came in on a live for like three minutes and I had to get off, but I'm about to go back to her live. Um, once I get off of here, but I like the fact that she was bringing up um, subliminals and what do they actually mean, right? And what is it really trying to tell you? Like, is it all dark? Like we, you know, when it comes to conspiracy, you know, is it all dark like we thought? Or again, was that too skip? At one point, we talked about this, I think, on the channel. Is it, you know, we're looking at it, right? But is it a way where, hey, I like to go back and forth. Somebody scared the hell out of us with all of it because, again, it was taking you back to what was natural, right? Right? And so, again, I think it says something in that clip about, um, uh, what was it? We'll wait. We'll wait to see what our sister has to say about it. And then I'm going to, of course, go ahead and look at the word and see what I get from it, too. But, um... Yeah, so again, what does it actually necessarily mean, right? Hmm. And then the depths I was just thinking about lately between the higher and low. Because it's an everyday, like when you're going through these transitions and things like this, it's an everyday thing that needs to be oiled, it needs to be rubbed, it needs to be, 
you know, well, I don't want to use rub, but, you know, it needs to be, you know, kneaded. It's, it's, all, it's forever going all. This is what I'm trying to explain to my daughter, you know. It's kind of like an ab absentee energy. So, anyways, um, yeah, we'll stop there. I hope someone got something from this message. And again, I want to say gratitude and grand rising because it still is morning. And I'll see you guys soon. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and join us in the Facebook group, American Aborigines Unchained. Um, uh, for more information or alternative information, past, present, and future. And then also, you know, I'm going to be, uh, you know, I'll probably just pin it. I'm going to be pinning something in the group. <clears throat> Excuse me. I need somebody that I know already that we, you know, we've had, you know, we, we deal with each other or have dealt with each other in the past, right? Um, that, again, may be interested in being a, um, an admin in the group. I think I'm going to need a couple. So, um, again, there's no other way. You know, I hate having to... <laughs> Put stuff like that in this videos because I know what that's going to lead. But that's why I said people that I'm already familiar with, which it, it, sometimes, hey, you see what I'm saying? We'll just see how it goes. Because I, I like to be the only one, you know what I'm saying, sifting through. But again, I, you know, it's getting overwhelming. So I'm going to have to, you know, again, sometimes it's okay to ask for help sometimes. This is a hard thing for me <laughs> when it comes to physical, like, because I can, when it comes to physical things, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to ask them, but I just do it myself. <laughs> right so anyways take care <laughs>